Hello, good evening. Finally, we are on the last day. We are like finishing this course today. So it's um, really big, uh, new, we can say, or it's a really good uh, time because we are going to end this, uh, ses this session and also we are going to end uh, this course. So today is the ending of this month of job. So we are going to end with a um, kind of easy topic. So we are going to end this uh, session in a good way uh, because I have a short, easy topic uh, in which we are going to have a review of this structure that uh, you have learned uh, before. And also we are going to say that it was a really good uh, month of work and we are going to end that uh, this course today. So we are going to begin with the information that we have for today and we are going to spend this hour explaining the uses of some structure and in this case, let me tell you what is the topic that we are going to develop right now. So we are going to talk about going to. So in this case, we are going to end this, um, this module talking about going to. We are going to have two parts in this explanation. The first one is um, what is going to, what are the uses that we can give to this structure? And then we are going to talk about questions because the main part or the main topic is making questions with going to. So this is a very easy topic, a very simple topic. So in this case, it's not like going to be very complicated to understand. And this is the last topic that we are going to have. Así que recuerden, hoy es el último día, la última sesión. Hoy terminamos lo que es este módulo. Y vamos a terminar con el tema del going to. Vamos a ver qué es el going to, para qué lo utilizamos. Algunos ejemplos. Y también vamos a ver eh, cómo utilizar el going to en preguntas. Así que vamos a ir comenzando. So this is the topic, going to. The first part is to explain what is the going to, what is the structure, um, some examples uh, in which cases we use this structure. In this case, we have like two different uh, things or two different moments in which we are going to use this structure. And then we are going to uh, talk about the questions and how to form questions with going to. So the first thing is that we have an example and it says, um, voy a volver a mandar el enlace de el documento. Tal vez hay algún um, problema con, con la configuración porque a veces Eh, se tarda en configurarse, así que lo voy a volver a mandar al grupo, así que no se preocupen. Cuando terminemos la sesión y esté completo el documento, yo se los comparto de nuevo para que ustedes lo tengan ahí. Eh, no lo voy a borrar, sino que ahí se va a quedar por un tiempo para que ustedes puedan accesar a él cuando ustedes deseen. 
So we have the first example and we have here, I'm going to buy a new car. That is the uh, example that we have. I'm going to buy a new car. So in this case, we are using the going to, to explain that we are um, making something in, um, maybe we can say in a specific time in the future or in a short future. So in this case, we're not talking about like a very long time in the future, but maybe we are talking about some time in the future, but we aren't really sure that we are going to buy a new car. So. It says that going to is not a tense. In this case, the going to is not a tense. This is just like a part or a structure that we can use to explain some details about the actions that we are going to perform in the future. But this is not a complete tense. So in this case, there are elements that we are going to use to express our ideas in the future, but it is not like a complete, complete tense in which we are going to have some more elements. So, So here we have, in this uh, phrase, it says, it's a special structure that we can use to talk about the future. So this is just a part of the structure that we can use to talk about future. So in this case, it is a special structure that we are going to use to talk about situations in the future. When we were uh, talking about uh, the future tenses, I was uh, telling you that we have two different elements that we need to use in that tense. One of these is will and the other one is going to. When you are using will, remember that maybe you are not too sure that the things are going to happen in that way. But when you are talking about going to or you are using going to, uh, you are really secure or you know that this thing is going to happen because you make some plans and you are very sure that uh, that is the thing that you need to do. So in this case, it is a special structure that we are going to use to talk about the future. And we are going to see the structure. So here we have the subject. Then we have B plus going plus two infinitive. This two infinitive it's referring to the verb. In this case, we are going to use two plus the verb in infinity form. So that is the element that we are going to add at the end or um, next to going. So in, it, in this case, we are going to use the complete form of the infinitive verb or the infinite form of the verb. And we have some examples. We have the number one. And in this case, we are going to see some examples in a positive and in negative, because in this case, you're just going to use not before 
I mean, you are going to use this object plus B plus not plus going plus to infinitive when you are talking about negative. So in this case, we are going to see the two different examples in positive and in negative. Tell me, Victoria. Teacher, I have a question. I don't know if it, if it's my internet, but I can't see the screen. Okay, I will stop this one and I will share it again. Lo voy a volver a compartir para ver si es algún otro problema. Vamos a ver. Now, can you see the screen? Yes, I can see. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. So in this case, we have the, the three structures or the three forms that we can use uh, for the going to. So in this case, we have just the structure for the positive sentence. But you know that in this case, it is not necessary to uh, write the three different structures because you know that in the case of the negative sentence, you are just going to add not in a specific place and for the question, you know that you are going to change the order of some words. Así que ahí tenemos los ejemplos eh, utilizando el mismo, eh, la misma estructura, o sea, lo vamos a tomar de forma como la base de nuestras oraciones, la de eh, eh, oraciones positivas, donde vamos a agregar el not para las eh, negativas después del be. Y para la pregunta, pues obviamente ustedes saben que vamos a colocar el verbo to be en las formas que se necesita según el sujeto al inicio de la oración. Luego agregamos el sujeto y lo demás va de la misma forma. So in this case we have, I am going to buy a new car. I'm going to go swimming. He's not going to take the exam. It is not going to rain. And are you going to paint the house? So we have some examples, but how do we use going to? Now we are going to see the two different uses that we can give to this structure. So let's see what are the uses that we can give to the going to.
So here we have one of the uses that we can give to this structure is going to for intention. In this case, we're talking about intention. We use going to when we have the intention to do something before we speak. We have already made a decision before speaking. So in this case, um, you want to do something, but you have to think about uh, that uh, situation or uh, take that decision and then uh, you express that idea to the others. So in this case, you have the intention to do something, but also you are thinking about doing it and then you can express or you can give your explanation about the situation to the other um, people. So in this case, it is not just um, that you are thinking to do something, you are going to do something, but you have to think about the situation before you, are, you express or you talk about that situation. Así que la primera es por intención, es por una intención que nosotros tenemos pero que en este caso nosotros eh, no lo hemos dicho, no lo hemos exteriorizado, sino que es una intención antes de hablar y que en muchos de los casos eh, lo pensamos mucho antes de podérselo decir a los otros. So in that case, it's a, a decision or a taking or making some decisions before speaking with the others or before making um, the action that we are going to do. We are going to see some examples of this uh, structure or this part of the structure, or we can say we are going to see some examples of the use, this specific use of going to. So in these examples, we can see this um, specific information because we are talking about intention. So in the first one, Joe has won the lottery. He says he's going to buy a house. In este caso, en el ejemplo, estamos viendo que esta persona ganó la lotería y en muchos de los casos ya había pensado que iba a hacer con ese dinero. ¿Por qué? Pues estaba jugando o estaba buscando ganar la lotería de alguna forma. Sabemos que es algo improbable porque no estamos seguros de que algo vaya a pasar. Pero él tenía la idea. And in this case, this is an intention to do something. If I win the lottery, I will do something with that money. So in this case, yo eh, has the intention to buy a house with the money that he uh, won with uh, the lottery. So in that case, it is an intention because he is thinking about the situation. And then now we can say that he has uh, the possibility to do it. Then in the second one, we are not going to paint our bedroom tomorrow. So in this case, we are um, working on a house and we are making some uh, things on it but in this case we have some situation that we cannot change and we are not going to paint our bedroom tomorrow because we are going to do something else and we were thinking about the situation because we need to find a, a solution for that issue so in this case is something that we were uh, thinking and we decided to 
um, stop doing that because we don't have time to paint the bedroom tomorrow, maybe. And the number three, we, uh, where are you going to go on holiday? This is a question when you are going to have your vacations or something like that. And someone asks you um, the place or the things that you are going to do on a holiday. In some cases, you have an idea of the things that you are going to do. Or in other cases, you are going to tell, I don't know, I am just thinking. But in this case, if you have the intention to do something. Oh, I'm going to visit my grandparents. I'm going to go to the mountain. Um, maybe I will go to another country or I'm going to stay in my house the whole weekend, for example. So in that case, you are thinking about the situation and you're thinking about the action and you are thinking about the things that you are going to do in that situation. So in that case, the question is related to the intention that we have to do something. So in this case, we can say that in these examples, uh, we have an intention or plan before speaking, because in this case, we are making plans about the future. The decision was made before speaking. It is not like I am talking to you and, and you ask me, what are you going to do? Or what is the thing that you are going to buy with that money? And in that moment, I got the idea in my, how, in my, in my brain. I mean, and I said, oh, I will buy a house. No, because I uh, think about that decision before, because I have an idea about the things that I'm going to do. Then the second one and the second use that we can give to this um, structure is a prediction. We are going to talk about a prediction. So let's see number two. So in this use number two, we are talking about predictions. But in this case, um, if you remember when we were talking about the future simple and we were talking about the use of wheel, we were saying that we are going to talk about um, things based on a belief. So in that case, if we we're talking about like the things that we we, uh, we think or we feel that will happen in the future. In this case, when we are using the going to, we are talking about a prediction about the future, but our prediction is based on present evidence. So in this case, we have some evidence that make me feel or made me think about the situation that is going to happen. So we are saying what we think will happen, but based on evidence, not like in the other one that is based on a belief. En este caso, no simplemente vamos a um, expresar una idea que viene de lo que nosotros creemos, sino que este sí tiene evidencia de que algo está sucediendo o algunos elementos que van a influir en, en lo que nosotros estamos diciendo. 
Así que en este caso es, basa, es una predicción basada en evidencia, no simplemente en algo que nosotros creemos. Según esa evidencia, nosotros expresamos que creemos que va a pasar en el futuro, pero no simplemente porque yo lo considero de esa manera, sino porque yo estoy viendo alguna evidencia que me permita a mí decir que eso va a suceder. So, we are going to see the examples. So these are very clear examples of this information that we have. The one, the number one, the sky is very black. It's going to snow. In our country, when we see something like this, we can say the sky is very black. It's going to rain because we are seeing something in the sky that is like a signal of snowing or raining. So in that case, we are talking um, about something based on the evidence that we are seeing in that moment. That is the sky that is black in that case. Number two, it's a thorny, you are going to miss your train. So in that case, we are talking about at the time. So maybe the train is going to uh, go in 15 minutes or at nine but you are late to take the train. So in that case, you are going to miss that train if you are not like going to that place right now. And in the third one, I crashed the company car. My boss is not going to be very happy. So in that case, you know that is a, um, your company car. And we know that in, in that case, when you have an accident, it's not something uh, funny. And here you are talking about a the car of the company. So it's going to be very bad. And your boss is not going to be very happy with that because you know that you need to um, pay some money for the repair of that car. So in these examples, the present situation, blast guide at the time, the damaged car give us an idea of when, what is going to happen. So. In that case, we have the evidence. We can also uh, use going to with a B in other tenses. And we can have some examples. So I'm going to show you some example of this situation.
Now, after that uh, explanation about the going to, we are going to talk about the questions uh, with going to, that is the main topic that we are going to develop right now. So we are going to see, um, some specific information about the question we're going to, the structure, some examples, and we are going to have like categories of questions that we can make with going to, and what is the specific use that we can give for those questions. En esta parte del going to, vamos a dividir las preguntas según la categoría. ¿Cuál es la categoría de preguntas o en qué momentos o en qué situaciones nosotros podemos eh, preguntar o utilizar esas preguntas con el going to? Así que vamos a ver un poco de información sobre el going to y luego vamos a dividirlo en categorías y ver qué tipo de preguntas podemos realizar. So, let's begin with the questions with going to. So in this case, we're saying that we can make questions with going to, because they are necessary to make questions about what you and other people are going to do in the future. And also we're talking about that we can make open and closed questions. In this case, the closed question are those questions in which I just uh, have to uh, answer yes or no. And with the open question, you have the uh, freedom to uh, speak, to explain, to give all the information that you want to say. And we have two examples. Are you going to come to the game with us tonight? In this case, you're going to say yes, no, maybe, or I don't want. That is uh, the uh, answers. And in the second one, what are you going to do tonight? And we can explain all the things that we are going to do tonight. So. The first one is a closed question and the second one is a open question. Now we are going to see the structure and some examples of this structure.
So here we have the structure for uh, the questions that we can make with going to. In this case, we have the verb to be at the beginning. In this case, it's depending on the pronoun that you have. Then you have the pronoun or the subject. Then you have the going to, and at the end, you have the verb that you are going to use. And we have two examples. Are you, go are you going to play or is she going to come? And uh, those are a uh, close question. So now we are going to see two examples or of the open question. But in this case, we are going to use the uh, WH words to make question. And in this case, you are going to use WH word plus verb to be, plus the pronoun, plus going to, plus the verb. So we are going to see what is the difference between the closed question and the open question. So in this case, we now uh, have the WH question or the WH word at the beginning. And then it's the same structure that you use for the uh, closed question. So in this case, the difference is the WH word. And also uh, in this case, it, it is like giving you the uh, space to answer and to add more information to the a answer that you are going to give. So now we are going to see the different categories of words that we can have or the different uh, questions that we can make in, um, in different situations, we can say. Tenemos como diferentes situaciones o diferentes lugares Y vamos a ver qué tipo de preguntas podemos hacer eh, dependiendo del momento, del lugar en el que estemos o de la situación que estemos enfrentando. Así que vamos a ver algunas categorías and we are going to see some examples.
So the first category is a general, general um, question or general situations in which we can make some questions with going to. In this case, we have different questions like, um, what are you going to do tonight? In this case, it is not related to um, a specific moment. Then what are you going to do later? Um, in that case, you are just asking it, what is the people going to do in a specific time? Then you have, what are you going to do tomorrow? You are asking for uh, or knowing the information or the things that these people or this person is going to do in the future. So make, maybe you can make some plans with that person. Uh, then you have, what are you going to eat? In that case, maybe you can uh, ask that question because you need to know what is the people going to eat or uh, why they maybe they like or they want to do it in that specific moment. Then when are we gonna rest? If you can see this uh, structure, you can see that we are not using going to. In this case, we are using gonna, but in this case, um, we are like using um, very informal, in this case, we can call it like this. Um, we are using a very informal way to use the going to. And in this case, we are just going to use it with uh, the way or with the speaking part. In this case, you are not going to use gonna with um, rhythm part. Cuando tenemos lo que es el gonna, es la forma informal o la manera informal de eh, llamar o de decir going to, in this case. Solo lo utilizamos más que todo cuando estamos eh, hablando, no cuando escribimos. En ese caso no vamos a utilizarlo porque es una eh, forma, we can call it informal, es bastante informal. Y solo se hace más que todo en lo que es la conversación, in a speaking way, not in the written form. So in that case, you can use it when you're talking with your friends or something like that, but not with people you don't know. Then we have the second, the second, um, category or the second group is entertainment. We have four entertainment. Let's see what are the questions that we can make in this category.
So here we have some examples about entertainment. In this case, you are talking about TV shows, music, books, movies, uh, games, and all of the things. So in that case, you are talking about entertainment. What are you going to watch? Maybe on TV. Uh, what games are you going to play? What movie are you going to watch? What, what book are you going to read next? Are you going to watch a Netflix show? And what album are you going to buy? So in this case, we are talking about different um, kind of entertainment. Now, we are going to talk about the number three or the category number three. And in this case, is talking about hanging out. Hanging out. Tell me, Victoria. And teacher, I have a question. Hanging out uh, is like an uh, informal question. No, in this case is when you are going to like have a date or something like that is to go outside at your house and get some fun. Es como salir de paseo o salir a disfrutar. Ah, okay, thank you. You're welcome. And in this case, when uh, you are saying like hanging out with your friends, so in this case, you're going to use gonna because you have like um, this kind of relationship with them. So it's like kind of informal, you can say, because in this case, you are using a uh, gonna. But in this case, it's to go outside with your friends. So in this case, because we're talking about um, go outside or have like a, a plan with the friends, uh, we have three examples. Are you going to stay home this weekend? Because maybe you're going to go some, somewhere else. Then are you going to hang out with us next Saturday? It's like you're going to go to that place with us uh, the next Saturday and are you going to study all weekend because if you are not going to study all weekend we can go to to a party we can go to the mall we can uh, watch a movie or do something so in this case is uh, going in a on a different place with your friends and have like um this kind of of meetings in which you can have fun and also we have another example in this case it's not related to the friends but is are you going to visit your parents then we have here the other um, category in this case is to future and to talk about future. And this is one of the most common way in which we uh, use the going to because we are talking about future. So this one is like one of the most used uh, categories or structures that we can um, have for the going to. So let's see.
So here we have the questions and uh, when you're talking about the future, you are going to use this kind of structures or this kind of question. We have the number one, what are you going to do when you are 14 or you are 40? And in this case, maybe you are having like a conversation with a friend or with, um, with someone that you know or with a partner or whatever person it is. And you ask uh, this question, what are you going to do when you are uh, 40? So you are like talking about the future. And the second one is almost the same. What are you going to do when you are 50? So you are just expecting an, an, an answer about the future of that person. Then number three, are you going to learn a new language? Maybe yes, maybe not. I am not too sure. I want to learn uh, Japanese. I want to learn uh, Chinese or something like that. Are you going to get in shape? Maybe it's talking about to go to the gym and do some exercise and all of the things. And the last one, what things are you going to buy? In this case, it's something for the people that is going to maybe the supermarket or something like this. And uh, someone is asking what things are you going to buy in that precise moment that you are going to uh, go to the supermarket. And we're going to see, I think, the last uh, category, that is number five. And this one is love and relationships. Love and relationships. So here we have some different questions about a uh, love and relationship. Are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? Are you going to break up with your boyfriend? Are you going to start a family? And how many children are you going to have? So in that case, you are talking about love and relationship. So now um, I'm going to stop this. And I just want to say thank you for your time. And also, I just want to say that uh, you did a really amazing job in this course, in this uh, module. So keep going and don't forget that you are enjoying the process that you are living and you are learning something new. So keep doing the same thing and you are going to have a lot of luck in your life. So thank you again for your time and keep doing your uh, things in the same way and you are going to uh, make amazing things in the future. So thank you for everything. And this is the end of this course. Así que terminamos acá y gracias por su tiempo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dishon. Gracias, mi hija, la bendiga. Good night. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome.